If you've tried the Gilded Rose refactoring carter, you'll know how much fun it can be to unpick tangled logic and sort out a bad design. Supermarket pricing is one of the original classic code carters from Pragmatic Dave Thomas, and I made it into a refactoring carter. This video is to encourage you to try my supermarket receipt refactoring carter. It's a great chance to improve your skills on a small, fun problem. Hi, I'm Emily Bache. Welcome to my channel. I'm a technical coach and creator of the Saman Method, as well as a lot of code carters. Maintaining them all is actually quite a bit of work and I'm grateful to all the code contributors and Patreon supporters who make it possible. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel too. Most things in supermarkets have simple prices. This toothbrush costs 99 cents. This bag of rice costs $2.49. But sometimes you have special offers and discounts that make prices more complex to calculate. You might get 10% off apples this week or three for the price of two on toothpaste. This is a problem domain that basically everyone is familiar with. Yet when you come to write the code to do this, there are some subtleties. The original exercise, Supermarket Pricing by Pragmatic Dave Thomas, was presented back in like 2003. So many, many people have had a go at this over the years. If you search for Supermarket Pricing Carter on GitHub, there are hundreds of hits. I liked this problem so much, I created a refactoring version of it. It's actually kind of difficult to purposefully create bad code that works. So I created what I thought was a reasonable working solution and then I defactored it into what you see today. So the code is tangled and the logic is all in the wrong place. You should be able to spot code smells like long function, feature envy. Just trying to read this code is an exercise in itself. Who knew that you could make shopping carts into a kind of God class? These might be problems and code smells that you encounter in your ordinary production code. And that's the idea with this and all refactoring carters, to help you practice skills that you can use in your job. The code has to accurately calculate the overall price of that burgeoning shopping cart containing your weekly shop. But the interesting part is really the code design that you choose to represent prices and products and discounts. And it's important that the code can also explain how it comes up with the overall price of your shopping cart. So that's why I call this carter supermarket receipt. It's the receipt that shows your calculations how did it arrive at that overall price? And I think that should be visible to the customer so that they can check it. If you want to practice refactoring this code, it helps to have a good suite of tests that will give you feedback about how well you're doing. If you mess up some refactoring, they should fail and warn you to go back and do the refactoring again, more safely, better. In the Supermarket Receipt Refactoring Carter repository, the main branch doesn't have good tests. But there is another branch called with tests that does. It's a convenient starting point if you're not so interested in test design and just want to skip to the refactoring part. Thing is, I am actually very interested in test design. Getting the tests right is such a big part of working with legacy code effectively. And I often use this exercise to teach people about approval testing. In the main branch, there is a single test that covers a small part of the functionality. It passes, but it's not a terribly well-designed test. There are numerous problems with it, and that is absolutely on purpose. I'm trying to draw you in. How could you redesign this test to better document the functionality and make it easier to build further tests? To that end, I've included a receipt printer class, which you can use in an approval testing approach. I've got another video about approval testing. I regret not telling Dave Farley this about approval testing. So if you've not come across this technique before, do check that out. The basic idea is that instead of an ordinary assert, you compare against a longer text that was generated by a previous version of the software. Because I find one of the main success factors for approval testing is getting the design of the printer right. It's crucial so you can understand why a test is failing what to do about it, whether to approve the new result. So by including this receipt printer code here, I'm trying to give you a leg up. 
I want to make it easier for you to write good tests. Because your tests have to both support all that refactoring you're going to do and also help you when you come to implement the new feature that's needed. Because that's the last part of this Carter. Once you've written the test and refactored to a better design, you should be able to easily add this new feature, discounted bundles. So it's a kind of discount that you get when you buy several different but related items that have been bundled together with a single price. It's a different kind of discount than the ones that the code already handles. And how you're going to design this is another interesting problem. This is a big exercise with several parts to it. You've got to read the code. You've got to design some good tests. You've got to do the refactoring and then add a new feature. The starting code is available in quite a few different programming languages. So thank you to everyone who's contributed. I encourage you to have a go at this and see if you can come up with a really good design. And I hope you'll enjoy working with this familiar domain with code that is bad, but not totally impossible. Happy coding. <laughs>